Hey guys, we are going to be doing a bit of a tips and tricks video today. I know I said I was going to do this tomorrow, but at this point I've just decided, you know what guys, I'm just going to do two videos in one day because I just got a new hard drive in my computer and it makes everything so much more snappy, it's motivating. So in my video early today, you saw this beginning gameplay, but I'm just going to go over it in depth and how I did it all. I did kind of have a bad example here, but it's fine. So let's get right into it. At the beginning of the gameplay, right here, what you want to try to do is get rampages and kill streaks. And if you don't know how to do that, rampages are when you get a lot of kills right side by side. It's like a kill streak, like a quad feeder, a triple kill. And a kill streak is getting a certain amount of kills without dying. I mean, not without dying. <laughs> you can only die once in this game mode. Uh, without getting shot and that will and both of those will reward you extra money now we're moving so you have to do that in the early rounds now we're moving on to wave three here what you need to know about this is how to kill the dogs this is the next significant round so they run up at you and they're gonna try to jump on you and by pressing down on your right thumbstick it will knife them which will kill them as you can see right here there you go. I knifed him. Another thing is, early on in the game, I would recommend saving for an LMG, which I did not do this game. Uh, but, like, definitely do save for an LMG. So, you see, I'm knifing the dogs. It's much better. A lot of people try to shotgun them and stuff or let them push them to the ground and then break their necks, which is something you can do in this game. And honestly, that's a bad idea because then you stand up and you're a little hurt and the enemies have an easy shot on you. So it's not a good idea. Now this shotgun, you always want to pick up off the enemies the first one you kill because then you'll start picking up all their ammo. Now this shotgun is very viable early rounds. It's a one shot kill if you're accurate. And uh, yeah, here we are going to move on to the next significant round, which is wave six. Wave 6 is the helicopter round. I'd recommend getting an LMG, but pretty much any precision weapon will do. Don't do what I did here. Make sure you at least have full ammo. LMGs are the obvious winner in this category. You'll see here that I have this MP7, which I ran out of ammo, but I feel like this is a good display of what you can do. Because this is something I've had to do multiple times considering I play survival mode quite a bit. This is something I've had to do a lot. And I don't play uh, survival mode like daily even. I don't even play it weekly. But I play it from... I play it maybe once a week. Not always though. So don't waste your ammo if you do have an SMD and you're trying to shoot these down. I would really recommend the LMG. Like I know I said... Oh, you can do the SMG, but anything really works. A lot of people take that as, well, I don't want to use the LMG, and he said anything works, so I'm not going to use the LMG. Hey, you don't have to use the LMG. Other things will work, but the LMG drops them quicker. And the LMG is also good for later games, so it's not wasting your money. So as you can see, I just took down the first one, and I'm almost out of ammo. So I have to do this thing, which I've had to do a few times, but optimistically, you avoid doing this. So I shoot my last few rounds, and then I hide. The shotgun's not going to hit him, as you can see. So I'm in a bad situation. So this is what you got to do. You run out. They actually won't kill you in one burst if you're at full health. Then you run back in, and you grab that ammo. So I took him out thereafter. Now wave 10. This is the next big wave. So this is the first juggernaut. They're actually not that scary. So you stand right where I am standing now, right up on top, like right there. And I didn't have any flashbangs in this clip, but optimistically use a flashbang. Really, this was a bad game, and I just tried to show you guys, like me, in all the worst situations, telling you what you could do better than me, but also showing you that it's possible even in the worst situations. So what you're going to want to do is normally flashbang them and then shoot them in the head. But right there, you can see I just challenged him to a 1v1 LMG battle, and I killed him because I got the first few shots from up top. Then I'm going to show you wave 11 where they do really get more powerful, but 
don't worry, Wave 11 is nothing to be scared of. The enemies will get more powerful, and after Wave 6, which I did not mention, they will get some explosives strapped to their chest, but I enjoy fighting them because you shoot them once, and they explode, and their teammates die, too. So, you can see this area I've been hiding in the whole time. Not hiding, patrolling. This area that I've been patrolling the whole time, this is where you're going to want to go. I know a lot of people say to go to the kitchen, but if you want to have fun and actually run around, this is where you're going to want to go. So, as you can see, I just hip fire gun them down, but you can also see how much more health they have and how much more bullets it's taking to kill them. You'll actually notice here that I run out of ammo in my LMG, and you'll also see how I said in the earlier rounds the shotguns are a good idea, and you can see right here just how bad weapons they are in the late game. Even knifing isn't a one-shot in the later game, so shotguns are not good in the slightest. Look at this. Just watch me spray bullets into these guys with the shoddy, and <laughs> and get no kills <laughs> like what is that so the video is coming to a close here so i am going to see you next time on sword shot gaming see you next time bye